Good morning, Magic. I'm Gavin Verhe from Wizards of the Coast. And a pretty common question I get in the comments down below is where can I get the magic clothes you're wearing? Well, today I thought I'd tell you about a few of the places I go to grab my stuff. And also just for fun, I thought I'd try wearing all of them at the same time. I'm just gonna keep layering them over each other and see if it even works. I haven't tested this. I don't know, it might turn out horribly. We're gonna find out live today. Ready? Let's do it. So I'm going to start off with one that I just got, so you actually haven't seen it yet, but I expect you'll be seeing more of it in the future. And that is this mana pendant from Rocklove. It's really cool and really high quality. Rocklove just launched a line of jewelry inspired by magic cards. So you have things like this mana pendant, but you also have things like a Sensei's Divining Top necklace, a Mox Diamond necklace, and a mana crypt that even glows in the dark. All right, here is a closer look at that mana pendant. As you can see, the front face looks really nice. It's got a great shine to it. And it's made out of sterling silver, so it really has a good heft in your hand. And on the back here is that Magic the Gathering logo, nice and shiny. It's got a great chain all the way up. And then it also comes with this nice bag to store it in too, which is a cool little bonus on top of everything else. You can go check them out at rocklove.com. You can also find links to all the people I'm talking about today in the description down below. All right, so that was the jewelry piece. Now let's get into talking about clothes. Now, before we go any further, I'd like to say that this is what I know about them based on being a US citizen. So some of these clothes might not be available in all regions. And in fact, some regions have different places you can get these clothes. So look around in your region to see what is available for you. So let's kick it off with a simple one, Amazon. There are a number of different companies that make magic apparel and sell it on Amazon. So for example, this Ashiok shirt I showed off in my previous video going through all the apparel, but one that I didn't cover in that video is this Zendikar tee right here. It's got this cool little adventure font on it. And well, let's try putting it on over this. You can see kind of what it looks like. All right, here we go. Shirt number one. Oh yeah, it's gonna be, it's gonna be fine. We're gonna get through all these shirts. I believe in myself. So you've got stuff like this, which says Zendikar and other things really related to sets. And you can go check out the link in the description down below, to scroll through Amazon and check out a ton of different magic apparel that's there. Really, there is a ton. You can get like a fifth edition themed shirt on there or one that shows off or a tog and some other old cards. So yeah, definitely go check it out no matter what kind of player you are. And also hats off to our consumer product team for keeping that page stocked with all kinds of new and cool stuff. So I have set the order of the clothes I'm showing off today in the order that I think will give me the best chance of wearing them all at the same time. So we'll see if it actually works. Coming up next is Coalesce Apparel. Now this is a company worked on by Cedric Phillips, a name you might recognize from the Magic Pro scene, and they make a lot of really, really fun stuff. For example, one of my favorites is this Evolution of Magic shirt right here. Looks like this. All right, now I'm gonna try and get this on. Shirt number three, Let's see if we can do it. Maybe there'll be a little tally marker in the bottom right hand corner of the screen, I don't know. Shirt number three, here we go. Three shirts, I can do three shirts. I love the, uh, the elk down here in the bottom right hand corner, don't miss out on that. Or another one of their shirts is one that I've worn in the past and gotten a lot of positive comments about on Twitter and in YouTube comments. It is this tireless pilgrim shirt, which is pretty cool. And I'm gonna put it on right now. It's part of their brand new line. Okay, there's a little more snug. Woo. This one's pretty fun. So going from a very complex design to a much simpler design, which I really, really love, we have this next item. This is my anti-mulligan mulligan club hoodie with these wonderful words on the front here. And it says the same thing on the back as well. Now I will say one thing if you choose to buy this for yourself is people are going to keep asking you what it means to be a part of the anti-mulligan mulligan club. Normally what I tell people is it just means I don't like mulliganing. All right, woo. All right, getting snug, definitely. Oh, but you know, it still fits great. Still fits great. I've worn this thing all around to events in the past. People always love commenting on it. I feel great wearing it. It's very sleek, right? I can go out running in this too. And you know, it's a, it's a very nice feeling jacket. On top of these great designs, Cedric has worked with all kinds of awesome magic creators like Autumn Burchett and Jim Davis to bring shirts that are really flavored to their personalities, which is really fun. And yes, there's a ton of cool stuff for Commander. I love the Keeping It 100 collection with the stack of cards and the 100 emoji. Good stuff right there. Now I'm going to move on to the last one for today, which is MTG Pro Shop. If you've been to a Magic Fest or another big event in the past few years, there's a good chance you've seen them there selling. They come out with stuff for basically every big new set. For example, their Strixhaven collection I've been rocking a lot recently. You've got things like the college symbols, which are great. Here is my Silver Quill shirt. Try and get this on to represent Silver Quill. You've probably seen me rock this in a past few episodes somewhere. All right. Oh yeah, I feel more white and black already. Woo! 
Oh, okay. Let's not rip this though. All right, stretching this out a little bit, but uh, you know, I feel, feel good about that on here. Only a couple more to go. We're almost at the end here. But if you don't want to show off a symbol, maybe you want to show off what your campus looks like, you can also find these really cool stylized drawings of the various Strixhaven colleges, or this one, which is kind of representative of all five. Now, let's see if I can get this on. It's going to be a tight fit. This is what I get for always wearing tight fitting clothing. Oh, my apologies. Steve Port who makes these clothes. I'm trying not to ruin them. So we're gonna go down any further. Mm, you get you get the idea, right? Oh, there we go. We, we did it. Only one left, and I know I'm gonna get this one on. So we've got stuff like this, which is pretty cool. But then you also have, and I've worn this and gotten a ton of questions about it. This is actually part of the reason why I made this video. You've got these series of Letterman's jackets, which are really, really, really fantastic from Steve. They have your college symbol right here. Uh, and yeah, I, I wear this around. I actually wore this to my local college campus, my my real life alumni, University of Washington. And uh, it was just really cool to walk around the campus wearing this thing. Oh yeah. Then you just button her up like this and you're ready for your first day at Strixhaven. Boom, look like this. That's what everyone in Strixhaven wears, 10 shirts or whatever. And those are just the Strixhaven entries. Over on mtgproshop.com, you can find things like a metal Kaldheim shirt. You can find a shirt that looks like a sports shirt with a famous magic card as your team. My personal favorite is the Storm Crows. And plus, there's even magic socks if you want them. There's all kinds of good stuff over there. Go check out mtgproshop.com. Oh, I also know a number of you asked for college scarves. Last I heard they were working on them and they'll be on their website in the not too distant future. Stay tuned. So there you have it, a look inside my closet. Which of them were your favorites? And what might you want to see on a future piece of magic clothing? Let me know in the comments down below. Well, it's getting pretty hot in all of these, so I gotta go take all of them off. I'll end the show now and I'll talk with you again on Monday. And in the meantime, may your clothing be plenty magical. You got this. Another team that got an award this year, our Cinematics team, and they created the aptly named Cinematic Phoenix. The Cinematics team is behind our incredible trailers. And if you were following 2019, you would have seen both our War of the Spark trailer and our Throne of Eldraine trailer, which had more eyes on them than ever before. And even people who weren't playing Magic were